Dr. Seuss Friday. Short book, short podcast, short life. Um, we'll what? be. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Shandy. Shandy? Mm-hmm. Like Sandy with a sh? It's a Shandy. A Shanti? Like an <laughs> old no. pirate song? No, that's... Shanty that's with a, a sh- T. Tea. This is Shandy or Panache if you prefer in French. Panache. Pish Pash. And this is Frank... And we're matching again. Uh, we were matching yesterday, as you remember. Well, we're all the hoodie gang, that's for sure. You always try to get in on it. <laughs> yesterday, you tried to get in on it, too. On some red. Look at the bros. It's a bros Friday. Well, you did say that you you got real close during COVID, so maybe. Instead of croak and crow, it should be bros and hoes. Bros Brokes and, ho. and ho. Just How are you guys doing? It is a beautiful Friday. We've made it through the week. Um, yeah. We've made it through the month. We made it through the month. Oh, it's July 29th? Yeah. Wow. Um, I wanted to talk about yesterday's podcast for a bit. Okay. In the beginning, for actually most of the podcast, we were talking about not being huggers and also not liking goodbyes, mm-hmm. not believing in goodbyes. Yeah. And it's always funny when um I do my little editing, my editorial additions. Yeah, your artistic touch. I, I always see things that I'm like, oh, wow, I wish I could have brought that up beforehand. Oh, okay. Smarter people than I saying smarter things than me. Um, and so there was this one quote. I had it up in yesterday's video. If you watch, if you didn't watch, then you really need to reevaluate your watch. life. Watch. It's called Judah. But this is a quote from Rumi. Rumi? Oh, Rumi. Yeah. You know who that is? I do. It's like a famous old poet. I mean, when I say old, I think like only there was only probably three numbers in their um, calendar. Oh, wow. But I could be wrong. But I also believe that um, Beyonce named her daughter Rumi. Well, I'm about to name my next dog Rumi because he's spitting fast. Yeah. Here. So this is basically kind of what we're saying. Is it a girl? I don't know. I don't know either. Goodbyes are only for those who love with their eyes. Because for those who love with heart and soul... There is no such thing as separation. That's, is that not what we were saying? That is what we were saying. We were, we were going on about how the idea of goodbyes doesn't really make sense to us. Because yeah. where are you leaving to? Right. We, were, we were saying it's fluid. And you love with your eyes, you need a goodbyes. That's you love perfect. with your soul, you're in the hole. <laughs> um, Yesterday also, um, I was talking about Sierra. She has... Uh, She's taking it up with you about the photo that you used. <laughs> um, and <laughs> I got that story wrong. She didn't think of me at the bookstore. She thought of Preston. Oh. But it still stands true, and I still find it endearing. And she she does think of me at different times. Yes. Um, well, shout out Sierra. Um, There's little retractions in, like, when there used to be newspapers. Yeah. The next day, there would be these little boxes of things they had to clear up yeah. from the day before. Yeah, I know. Uh, maybe when we run out of Dr. Seuss Fridays. Um, we'll just start doing correction that. Friday. Friday will just be a correction of Wednesday like and it. Thursday. Yeah. Um, here's how we messed up or here's how we can elaborate. Right. I'm but, Shandy. Oh yeah. So what is that? I'm Shandy. It's a drink. Oh, summer Shandy. Y- yeah. You know it. It's a, it's an alcohol. What is it? A uh, Shandy. I, I don't know. I think like, is it made with fruits? Yeah, sort of. I first saw Shandy in, um, Trinidad. Okay. Trinidad. Is the Caribbean island that its last, um, the last foreign control was was England, so it has English influences. This is apparently like a European English concoction drink. Yeah. It's half lemonade, and then the second half is either going to be beer or, or hard cider. Yeah, and um, or it could even be limeade. Lemon or lime is half. The other half is this, probably like a light alcohol. Yeah, um, refresher, and um. It's not really popular here. I think. Uh, I think uh, if it is, it must be a newly. Yeah, popular thing. I, I think it's like a new thing, like mm. one of these. Like that's why I said summer shandies. Like you hear about these, like um, marketing things. Yeah. of Try our summer shandy. It's right. not like you know all year round. Everyone that's a go to drink. Yeah, I mean, the half lemonade, half uh, iced tea. That's an Arnold Palmer. That's an Arnold Palmer, which which makes alcohol. What? Yeah. No, it does not. Yes, it does. If you mix lemonade and iced tea, you get alcohol? No. 
Arnold Palmer, like the brand. Oh. Like Arizona brand or whatever. Um, I thought you were saying like a magical well, recipe. Because, you know, Arnold Palmer is like a name sounds... of a golfer. Yeah. Oh. And, they, and so it's like trademarked as the drink. Right. And you can get an Arnold Palmer at the grocery store. Right. And drink it. They also make a spiked Arnold Palmer. Okay. Yeah. So that's the only lemonade. Ha- ha- oh, my God. Sorry. It's all right. Thing that I've seen. But this is Shandy. So anyway, that's my name. Well, hey. Don't wear it out. Every, it's July 29th. Everyone crack open a cold summer shandy yeah um and then maybe to to wash it down or maybe to what's the opposite accompany of wash it? it down accompany it have some lasagna <laughs> no that's not <laughs> together is it it's national lasagna day oh okay yeah shout out garfield shout out <laughs> italians garfield. who's gonna know that everyone really that's like the most generic thing garfield and lasagna. i thought it was one of those things that, that usually i'll say that and then you'll say i don't know what that is i don't know what garfield is i don't it's a super old. Yeah, but it's one that I'm pretty sure they made a remake like not too long ago. So what's his owner's name? Uh, Sam. John. I knew it was something basic. John. I thought it was the man with the big yellow hat. <laughs> no. Um. What else? Uh, I feel like I had to say something. I'm going to a wedding. Congratulations. Is it yours? Yep. Yeah, I have to go to this wedding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whose is it? It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> But yeah, that's tomorrow. Um, Fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I've, I've been to plenty of weddings, but I think this is, might be... No, I'm totally lying. Oh. I was going to say the first wedding of friends like my age, but I went to one last summer of oh. friends my age. So. Oh, yeah. A lot of people. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people uh, your age buying houses, which I'm, I'm... I wouldn't say a lot of people. Yeah, this is the way I see it. I think I've seen three in the past week. In the past week? Yeah. In the past week. I got to get on my game. But here's my thing about the buying houses. I think it's such, oh, that person bought a house. That person bought a house. It's like it stands out more mm-hmm. than they, I still think they're in like the 5% minority of say like kids. I graduated with 700 people. You know, like it's probably like every person buys a house. Like everyone's buying a house. And it's like in reality, 10 of those well, of people course. are homeowners. Of now. course. So if you had 600 people. Posting on Instagram, I did not buy a house. Yeah. You would be like, no Nobody's one's buying, buying houses, houses. But only people who yeah. are buying houses are posting it. Yeah. And, and it's the same thing. Like, you know, I have health anxiety. And um, so I'll see like, oh, oh, no, like this person has cancer. That person has cancer. And it's like, right, because majority of people are not posting. I do not have cancer. Yeah. So remember to keep things in mind when you're on social media. Keep things in mind. No, no need to buy a house just yet. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Yeah. In this market, in this economy. The other thing is the people that I saw were two people. Dual income. Dual income. So. Man, the government really just forces you to I know. M- m- match up with someone. The single man is the minority these days. Can't buy a house. Can't get a loan. <laughs> Can't. This sounds like, um, this sounds like it's a wonderful life. I don't know that. Jimmy Stewart. Yes, you do. The Christmas movie is black and white, and he he needs a loan, and he's going to kill himself. And then the, <laughs> there's the angels, and when you hear a bell, another angel gets its wings. You know it. I think I've heard it. <clears throat> it's like black and white. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, why don't we just get into it? Okay. And you know what? I, I I like our color style. I feel like we're wearing DS colors. DS. Well, I haven't introduced it yet. So. Oh, okay. Doctor S. Oh, I feel the like doctor blue and red. is in. Yeah. yeah Theodore. Yeah, yeah. We call them the- Theodore colors. Theodore. It's Doctor Seuss Friday. Feels like it's been a while since the Doctor Seuss Friday, but it's only been one week. Well, we missed before that. I think. Yeah, we yeah. had a little stint. Yeah. A little away from the stay, but it's Doctor Seuss Friday, and um, it's an exciting time. What we do on Doctor Seuss Friday is we read a Doctor Seuss book. Yeah. Um, which Easy. is really just fun. Yeah. Um, and you might think it's childish, but I would say that you're an idiot because <laughs> <laughs> because what Dr. Seuss did was inspire generations of children yeah. to be better people, yeah. to live better lives through his crazy characters and his wacky narratives and his zany illustrations. Inside of that is uh, me- deeper meanings. Mm-hmm um things that you can you can take with you you can't take it with you that's one of the books shout out but um 
Yeah, and so we're reading it again with our adult brains. Yeah. And um, we're getting those meanings so we can walk away from it. And also, it's just a nice little practice. Maybe you're going to read your kid a Dr. Seuss book tonight and you just are like, hops and bops. Yeah, and like bo- you're like, pick something maybe, else. Maybe when you read it this time, you'll look a little deeper and say, hey, do you really know what sneeches mean? But anyway, you might remember this book, The Sneeches and Other Stories. We read The Sneeches last week. And it's time, I think, to delve into the other stories. Yeah. So, um, it's one I'm, of those bonus books that were has more than one. Yeah, story it saves us a, a little, little bit of a dime. <laughs> yeah. But um, Sneeches was good. We got a lot of meaning. They had out the of that. stars, and they took them on, put them on, and took them off. Okay, so today, this is the first time I'm even seeing the title. So this is, I have no idea about this book. It's called The Zacks. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> Should I just read? Yeah, sure. <sighs> One day, making tracks in the prairie of Prax, came a north-going Zax and a south-going Zax. And it happened that both of them came to a place where they bumped there they stood, foot to foot, face to face. Look here now, the north-going Zax said, I say. You are blocking my path. You are right in my way. I'm a north-going Zax and I always go north. Get out of my way now and let me go forth. Who's in whose way, snapped the south-going Zax. I always go south, making south-going tracks. So you're in my way, and I ask you to move, and let me go south in my south-going groove. Then the north-going Zax puffed his chest up with pride. I never, he said, take a step to one side. And I'll prove to you that I won't change my ways if I have to keep standing here 59 days. And I'll prove to you, yelled the south-going Zax, That I can stand here in the prairie of Prax for 59 years for I live by a rule that I learned as a boy back in south going school. Never budge, that's my rule, never budge in the least, not an inch to the west, not an inch to the east. I'll stay here not budging, I can and I will, if it makes you and me and the whole world stand still. Well, of course the world didn't stand still, the world grew. In a couple of years, the new highway came through. And they built it right over those two stubborn Zacks and left them there, standing unbudged in their tracks. No. It's not over. That's it. <laughs> you are absolutely kidding me. No That's wonder it. we never heard of this book before. The Zacks. Shortest one we've read, I think. That's the shortest one we've read. I like it, though. Unexpected. Unexpected. I, and I kind of like how it, it, it doesn't end. Right? I wonder how a child would feel about hearing that book. Because, I mean, things are always wrapped up very nicely for children, aren't they? Yeah. And that, so... That seems like this, more of an adult book. Yeah, this is a good example of... Of why we're reading Dr. Seuss on yeah. Dr. Seuss Friday. And um, his... The art of his work. This is like, you know, when you see a painting and you're like, yeah. oh, like, what's that? Or, or you know, it's, it's an, uh, it was unexpected, unusual. Unexpected, unusual. And um, all right. So you go for it because um, I'm like, you just, you gotta, I, I had settled in for a long winter's nap. Yeah. And um, I <laughs> like it. I mean, it, it, it's showing that, that stubbornness. And yeah. um, I think, I mean, just to wrap it up, which I mean, the beginning is the end. It's all happened so quick. Yeah. Is. What I like about it is they're so stubborn and stuck in their ways. And it's like, that gets you nowhere. Right. Not only in your uh, journey of wherever you're trying to reach, but also the world keeps on spinning. Yeah. The world keeps on moving. And I right. think it's good for us to understand that when we get like so stuck in our ways. And it's like, uh, your your stubbornness is only worth so much. When you when you, like when you're you're prideful to a fault, yeah, it's like you're not changing anything. You're no, just no. You're, you're doing yourself a disservice. Right, Didn't the world's going to keep moving, and you're not going to move on with it. Yeah, it's a real. It's very thought provoking. It is very thought provoking. So these two people come. First of all, I like that he made them the same um, genus. <laughs> yeah. So it's not like oh well, I don't like you because you're the, they're both his yeah. acts. Yeah, like the how the last book was like. They had a star. And a little bit a different. These are two of the same exact ones. Yeah. So first of all, I think that's something to explore. Second of all, uh, he just wants to keep going north. So he has to go around and pass, right? And then he can 
he can free it up again. Like, yeah. you know, and same thing with this one. But he says, I'm not going to go one step to the east or the west, which, of course, would would allow the, you know, the blockage to pass. Yeah. Crazy. And second and third of all, so you you both don't like each other, but you're willing to stand with each other for 59 years when you could your choices you could turn around and go back where you came from yeah but no i'm not going to do that you could go around i'm not going to do that like um and so fine you do and that's another thing people say like you can't do that now these these zacks say well we we can and and they're correct they can but look it didn't do anything for anyone no including themselves no yeah and, and i find this you know with people with like different beliefs when they're always just attacking the other person, it's like this like fight, and it's like you're getting nothing done. Like, yeah. let the South go and Zach's go south, and you take a step. Be the bigger person, I think, is one of them. Like, mm-hmm. you are going to also or be a selfish person. If you like bigger person, makes it sound like you have to um, be holy or something. Or start but walking south. <laughs> if you're selfish, you're like, I don't want to stand here with you for 59 years, and and I want to be yeah. part of what's ha- like. Think of yourself. Go yeah. around. Yeah. I, I think there is a, a freedom in mm-hmm. letting your pride go a little bit. And it's like this idea of I need to fight or I need to yeah. stand stand for something. And it's like, but you're doing yourself a disservice. Right. Like there, there's a free, like, and you, you see that a lot in, in all, like a lot of powerful, the most power, like powerful movements and stuff have been, from that, it hasn't been. Yeah. I'm gonna take you head on. It's right. I'm not gonna let you bring me down yeah. for 59 years. Right, like, exactly. I am going to walk around you. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not gonna hold on to the stubborn beliefs. I'm not gonna say first person to budge is a loser. It's hey, if if you're that type of person, you've already lost. You know, it's right. like because the next person you see, you're gonna do it again and again and again. But if you have it in you, it's like I'm not gonna let anyone interfere with me i'm not gonna be stubborn you know i care about going south and i'm gonna get south but not not at every roadblock be like uh well i'm only going south it's you need to be fluid and- yeah because it's fine like you just said he if the if this zax has a goal that i need to keep going south so you could say the say yeah. zax was a good person i have a goal and i want to stay on my path to spirituality I have to stay on my path to spirituality. So I will die on this hill. Well, you didn't need to. Yeah. You, you're you still staying on the path. That, but, you know, you have to um, you have to sometimes make rights and lefts. Yeah. And- no. And just like in the real world or in anything, you see this sometimes where like if one plan uh, goes belly up mm-hmm. or, or there's an obstacle in your way and it's like you just keep dwelling on that. It's yeah. Like, no. How could this happen? How could this happen? It's right. Like, are you just going to stay in front of this obstacle? Or right. like. Are you just going to dwell on the fact that this route was messed up? Right. Or are you going to say, okay, I can't go south anymore. I can't go south or here. How do I find a way to get around to get back on my track? Like, yeah. You need to be able to, because that happens all the time. Like, there's always going to be obstacles. Right. Unmoving obstacles. Right. So it's, it's not like you can tackle everything, but you need to find a, a way around it. And, yes. and you need to be open and it's yeah, it's it's about your goal, and and you can't let your stubbornness get in the way of your goal, right? Um, and then I mean yeah, just to bring up the end a, a, a bit again is I do like once again the idea of the world grew and grew. Right. It, it's I think that is also a big part of that freedom. It's like when we get so caught in in these you know belief against belief and and all this it's like you think you're doing something like you think you're noble do- yeah noble mm-hmm. or, or you're doing something by it and it's like you're not like Mm-mm. no like it's not like yeah because they were like till the world the world will stand still it's like the world's not going to stand right. still and you whatever you know the goal was in the south you didn't get it done it's right. like so where's the nobility in, in this yeah, you know, I like imagine like these two goats with their just heads to each other. Yeah. Where's the nobility in that? Where's the nobility yeah. in in fighting with someone else when you can avoid it? Yeah. Get around it. Still hold on to your beliefs. Like I like right. I think that's a big part of it. It's like people I think the stubbornness is 
oh well you know you're you're going north that's the wrong way i'm going south and you're you're so caught in this fact that it's like oh well if i stop going south and i'm going the wrong way it's like well, you're not turning around right you're going east or west right. which is you know neutrality in that point yeah and it's like yeah when you um when you get into that kind of um situation the stalemate you know each person is feeling fully confident that they can outlast the other person yeah um and usually one will give up right even if you would play chicken that's the whole point of chicken yeah you, you pull off but there there will be times where both sides will stand firm um you if you take pro-life and pro-choice at the moment you know they'll stand there forever because there are times where the opposing both both sides are i'm done this is what i'm going this is how i'm going to stand yeah i'm um, not giving an inch i'm not giving uh, yeah my beliefs um so to think that you're doing something by standing there and just staring at something that you are against forever you're just wasting time why would you want to keep staring at your problem go around and continue on what you were doing so continue but well i mean my argument to that though would be well then how what if you know the person who's walking is that like a direct opposite belief of yours and like you're continuing on your path so if if you have a, a pro-life path and you're continue i'm on a pro-life path and then you have a um a pro-choice person stand in front of you don't don't i find if you will stand there for 59 years you're never going to change yeah. that person's mind yeah. Con- continue on your the path that was more productive for you yeah um because and and then just to say like more um more a vague problem or something that you're that is bothering you don't just keep staring at it obsessing on it continuously having it face you it's not you know there's so much going on and, and it just we we always say that with christianity we say stop looking around and trying to find things that you deem not christian in other people right oh that's not christian it's like live your good christian life right. you're wasting your time and energy telling atheists they they need to find god right. telling telling picketing signs outside of planned parenthood mm-hmm. um all, all these numbers of, of, of things where it's like why are you like uh, shuffling like right yeah, are you doing the wrong way when it's like you can be living a i always think that when i when i see people with signs i'm like all signs all signs even like store closing the yeah. guy who spins it uh, no because no, it's like you are doing this based on your christian belief right yeah. you're out there for hours of, yeah. and days it's like it's a but you're doing nothing there's so many christian things of charity and love that you can be actively doing right and so it's like why are you standing at that that, right. that line and it's like Oh, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm trying to get other people to go north. It's like, well, how about you go north? Right. And it's like, well, then nobody's going north because you're all too busy standing. Right. At a toll booth being like, uh, they're not going north. Let's go get signs and tell them to go north. Yeah. It's like, well, what are you doing? Right. You just spent eight hours today standing in one spot. Right. You could have spent eight hours feeding the homeless. Right. You know, like, uh, what's it called? Volunteering. Right. Just being kind to people. Going, yeah. Like going up, helping people with groceries. I don't know. Right. But instead, you're you're... you're getting angry i'll stand i'll stand here forever it's like yeah and then in the whole time you're not doing anything christian right sorry so um in the beginning it might be tempting it might be tempting to flex you know yeah. I-, I can outlast you i can stand here longer i can you you know the sun will set and i'll still be here and um, it might be tempting but you should no, you're not ever supposed to say should um maybe be careful because sometimes what starts out as not even planned like like i said you're just you're just trying to like flex or just trying to say like oh i i'll stand here forever um you get you actually get stuck there forever and you never meant to be and then you kind of just like solidify like a statue like yesterday we talked about remaining fluid and yeah and mobile and um i always say you can't you can't have two crazy people right (laughs) you can always have one crazy person and then there's like other people who are more reasonable will balance that person out and you know they won't make such nutty de- decisions and choices yeah but 
the book The Zacks by Dr. Seuss sounds like you have two crazy people so that yeah. you have, you know, they are equally, equally matched in stupidity. <laughs> and so therefore, if you ever find yourself in a situation where it's like, if you can pull away a little bit and yeah. be like, this is unwinnable, yeah. realize there's two crazy people there and make sure that you're not one if, of them. Yeah, if you know someone's <laughs> wrong and it's like, you know, let those who have ears hear. If they don't yeah. have ears, go east, go west. Yeah. But stop trying. Freedom. You said freedom, freedom. a few times in, in the beginning freedom. of I'm talking about it. And, you know, um, we also said before this, this, the horse who is tied to a plastic lawn chair. Yeah. And he won't move because, the you know, well, I'm, I'm tethered and you're not. You could walk. You're not so tethered. These, um, these Zacks. Was it Zacks? Yeah. It's funny now now i'm thinking of the boy named zach but it was a little different um they are imprisoned yeah in within their belief that they have to stay there when there's they're, they're not they're not they're not handcuffed they're not fenced and only by their own choice have they imprisoned themselves only by your own choice but i it was very bold choice of dr seuss to end it like that uh, was he interrupted and he forgot to go back to the book or did he was he really purposeful yeah i don't know I, I think it was purposeful. I think it, it, it's because it, in reality, those arguments don't end. Yeah. And so yeah. it's like, That's true. don't even get yourself in that position in the first right. place. And take that to the bank. But guys, that is it for Dr. Seuss Friday. Short book, short podcast, short life. Um, we'll, be, <laughs> we'll be back next week Wednesday uh, for a walk, walk through Wednesday. One no, word Wednesday. One word. Until then. Um, Polls. Go east, go west. Polls. Vote on the polls yeah. on Instagram. Peace.